Wow, what a day. You are live. It says right there, you are live. Well, no shit. My name is Ted Nugent, and for 73.4 years, I've been so very, very alive. So I'll take a deep breath here and let everyone gather around. I'll explain all the blood all over my body and my hands and my pants and my spirit. I have a bloody spirit. That means I'm really, really alive. And just to prove that I'm alive, I will unleash Blackie. Hey, welcome to Thursday. What is today? Today is Thursday because this is the Ted Nugent Spirit Campfire. And I obligate myself because I'm a man of my word. And I usually show up early and stay late because I have this Detroit work ethic where if I was born when my dad was born in 1926, maybe. 
What a great, what a great guy. What a son of a bitch my dad was. But we're going off on tangents tonight. But ultimately, I must come down to earth and be grounded because my name is Ted Nugent full time. Not a damn thing you can do about it. Many have tried and many have just lost their minds because they fail. <laughs> so my name is Ted Nugent. Barack. And I let toxic gas out of my system with appropriate verbiage. And this is the Ted Nugent Spirit Campfire. I think today on the identity of my spirit campfire, Nuge Spirit Fire. And it is a fire because the flames of freedom burn in that not-so-quiet night on the not-so-mean streets of America and around the world, except there's only one place where we have a constitution to guarantee God-given individual rights in case some asswipe wants to play king or tyrant again, like Joe Biden and whatever that freak Kamala freak dog Harris is. I mean, I, I hate to be mean, but how could I possibly be as mean as Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and the Democrat Party? Meanness doesn't come close to the treachery of pure treasonous, evil, criminal, runaway, gangbanger behavior. Are we on a tangent? Yes, and my tangent is guided on a true North Compass setting because I am addicted to truth logic and common sense and the beauty of truth logic and common sense that i share with all of you that you will even notice once in a while why am i against hemp chuck you dumb fuck i've always been for hemp you should probably pay close for attention i've been promoting hemp as a viable agriculture product that is good for the environment and has unlimited utilitarian pragmatic uses chuck get your head out of your ass you must have graduated from an american anti-education system isn't it funny how i zeroed in on chuck why are you against hemp no i'm against you chuck i'm against stupid I'm against denial, and I'm against the protection of ignorance, which is stupid. You know, ignorance is okay. We are all ignorant on numerous subjects. I, the lowly guitar player who authored Wang Dang, Sweet Poon Dang, and I meant it. But I'm not stupid, because when I'm ignorant, I don't protect my ignorance, Chuck. I expand my knowledge to eliminate my ignorance. So I pay attention so I don't presume shit. Don't you love my tangents? Because if someone fucks with me, they always lose. I have a standing threat, a dare. I dare anybody to debate me on anything, anywhere, anytime. Well, that's pretty cocky. No, that's real cocky. I'm not pretty anything, except I'm pretty pretty. But anyhow, blood. Blood on the tracks? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm stimulated. I'm supercharged. I'm driven, inspired wildly on this beautiful Thursday. What is this? The 10th day of March, Clusterfuck 22. And welcome to the Ted Nugent Spirit Campfire. We're positive energy, positive spirit, goodwill and decency, and adequate tsunamis, 810 warthogs of cockiness will keep you entertained and educated if you pay attention. The worst, dumbest thing, the nastiest thing a person can do in this world is to falsely accuse someone. And when liars and thieves and the supporters of criminal treachery accuse you of something falsely, it proves you're driving them batty. Hi, my name's Ted Nugent. I drive idiots bad. I drive them batty. And I don't even try. I just get good sleep. I eat good food. And I go hunting. And I squuggle with my dogs. And I promote positive entrepreneurial spirit and positive energy and positive attitude and adequate, not adequate, full steam cockiness cockiness, cocksure, cock o' the walk. Are you capturing these historical colloquialisms? Chuck doesn't even know what a colloquialism Why are you against colloquialisms? <laughs> so, <clears throat> I am one bloody son of a bitch. I hunt my property every day. And I'm after axis deer. Giant, beautiful, chittle deer from India. 
that we imported into Texas in the 1930s. I wasn't here at the time, but Texas landowners decided conservation, conservation. Gosh, we got a lot of turkeys and white-tailed deer and mule deer, and we have a lot of hogs, and we have a lot of doves and quail, and uh, we got a lot of waterfowl, and we got coyotes and bobcats and, and mountain lions and coons and possums and skunks and beavers and porcupines and hey, we should probably wisely utilize God's renewable resources. Duh. So landowners who own vast acreage of land in Texas said, you know, the white-tailed deer are doing really good here, and I've been studying these African animals all along the Serengeti and on the sub-Saharan Africa, and the terrain and habitat looks so much like Texas. Hey, Martha, let's import some African animals, because they're so beautiful, they're renewable, they're delicious, and they're worth more spiritually and ultimately financially than longhorn steers. So instead of having cattle and sheep and goats on our wild grounds, let's bring in some antelope. Let's bring in some black buck from India. Let's bring in some chittle deer, some axis deer from India, because you're not allowed to hunt those animals over there. And so the goat farmers will kill the wildlife and fill their land with goats. Well, there's plenty of goats, but we need more wildlife. So Texas ranchers started bringing in axis deer and black buck antelope and African savanna plains game, kudu and gemsbach and waterbuck and inyala and impala and, and grants gazelle and, and sunnies and warthogs, they started bringing them in. So now in many areas of Texas, there are more axis deer, beautiful spotted deer. Fred Bear went to India and hunted them with the Maharaji. I don't, I'm not going for Maharajis. There's not a ruling class that controls the citizens. Maharaji, King, Emperor, Dirtbags, Joe Biden. See, it's all tied together. So Uncle Ted sits in his tree stand every night with my Matthews bow, my gold tip arrows. And every day I pick up my Matthews bow. I'm promoting Matthews bow because I think it's the best out there. But all bows nowadays are awesome. There's no bad bows. There's no bad arrows. There's no bad guns. There's no bad ammo. There's no bad sights. There's no bad releases. There are no bad binoculars, though I prefer Bushnell. But I every day I get my bow and arrow. And I got a target range throughout the area. The world is a target range. And I get past my tangents. You can't shoot arrows accurately or consistently if you are on a tangent. So I take a deep breath. Realize that Dirty Harry was the greatest philosopher of all times. Did I mention that? The greatest philosopher of all times, Dirty Harry. In many instances, many of his profound statements were rather inspirational and profound. But one of my favorites, other than, do you feel lucky, do you punk? That's a great one. But my favorite is Dirty Harry, 1970, a good man must know his limitations. So I take a deep breath. I reel in the tangents and the hyper, the gonzo stuff. I love the hyper. I love the tangents. I love the gonzo shit. It's my favorite. It says right there, Ted Nugent, ballistically maximized firepower, BMF. I am a BMF-er. Ballistically maximized firepower. So I take a deep breath every day. And I do my chores and I check my traps and I work in the fence and I fill the feeders and I work on food plots and I gather kindling and firewood and I, I trim lanes and I train the dogs and I go to the target range. Boy, I went to the target range with an AR today with a drum magazine with 100 rounds. God, did I have fun. You can tell I'm, I remain stimulated. So this is the Ted Nugent Spirit Campfire where I know it's treacherous out there. Let me overview the tangent. I should probably read some of the comments. I thank you all for those comments. I used to be a stagehand to work for the damn Yankees. Yeah, we were the best. Jack and Tommy and Michael the best. Tell them Planet X coming to Nugent, no, but uh, get yourself a shotgun. Eat. <laughs> yeah, like I need to go get myself a shotgun. Which one? <laughs> love your energy, love your music. Plexico. 
Uh, play Kiss My Ass. What a great song, Kiss My Ass. I am a rock legend. I'm just a dirtbag, but I play some killer damn songs, don't I? Um, my day's going wonderful. I'm about to tell you how wonderful it is. Thank you all for being here. By the way, spread the Ted Nugent Spirit Campfire word far and wide. We're about to unleash the Ted Nugent Spirit Campfire, Campfire on Real America Voice. It's a new... Barack. Is that is that got great tone? Does it have great tone out there? It has great tone in here. Motherfucker. Oh, my goodness. I'm covered in blood. I'm about to tell you why I'm covered in blood and why I'm so excitedly stimulated. But first, I have to... Kid Rock and Ted Nugent, Panama City. Yeah, no shit. April 29th, the Ted Nugent killer band, Jason Hartless and Greg Smith, unleashing the greatest animal breeding soundtrack of all times, Panama City, the Beach Bash. Ted Nugent, Friday the 29th, and Kid Rock, Saturday the 30th. You don't think Panama City is making a statement, do you? You think Panama City genuflects at the altar of flame-throwing middle fingers? I think Panama City have hired Uncle Ted and Kid Rock because they genuflect wildly and cockily, very cockily, cock o' the walk, at the flame-throwing middle finger when they hired Ted Nugent and Kid Rock for the Beach Bash, Panama City, Friday, April 29th, and Saturday, April 30th. But anyhow, let's reel in the tangents momentarily, shall we? But this is fun, isn't it? Aren't I fun? I mean, isn't this an escape because the world is ugly? Mm. When the United States government is the enemy of America, it doesn't get it doesn't get uglier than that, does it? When the leadership of the FBI have turned that law enforcement organization into a terrorist organization, well, that's outrageous. You better go better go check Nugent. He's like having an insurrection. No, the FBI is violating their sacred oath to the Constitution, which means they're criminals. James Comey, punk. But it's because the world is so ugly and so infested with criminal communists, oath-violating traitors, that this Ted Nugent Spirit Campfire is more important now than ever, and it's always been important. In fact, I've had a Ted Nugent Spirit Campfire since I was about 11. I would deliver the shoppy news and the Detroit news, and then I would play my guitar and shoot my bow and arrow. Here it is all these years later, 60 years later, whatever this is. It's, that's 60 years ago. And I didn't have a silver beard back then. Are you enjoying this? This is fun, isn't it? It's better than the late-night talk show assholes, isn't it? You know, the leftist America-hating, lying hateful scum, Jimmy Kimmel, and whoever those other guys, the Colbert, what a prick. I mean, you have to be an absolute prick to be a late night talk show host anymore. Remember Johnny Carson and and and, and when Letterman first started, how good he was. <gasps> now they've just turned into a gang of hateful, lying, anti-American pricks. Oh, but anyhow, so I take a deep breath because I'm a good man. I know my limitations. Are you still with me out there? Tell everybody about this because it's unique. Right, am I unique or nothing else, huh? So I get my Matthews bow and my gold tip arrow and I get my release. And I take a deep breath. And right about here, there is no Nancy Pelosi. Right about here, there is no Fauci, communist, genocidal monster. All that ugliness is absolutely gone right here. And I do that and I go right hand, right hand, right hand. Don't think about the arrow. Don't think about the world. Don't think about the front sight. Don't think about full draw. Think about the right hand. Mr. Right Hand, you're in charge. When hand-eye coordination finds the exact nano spot you want to hit, Mr. Right Hand, you're in charge. Let her rip. So about an hour and a half ago, after hundreds of hours, hundreds of hours, you know, because it's a canned hunt. It's, it's a shooting fish in a barrel while you're a coward because you kill innocent animals. Oh, shut the fuck up. Hundreds of hours trying to kill an axis deer. And then... The planets aligned, 
the great spirit. Why is this doing this? Get out of here with that shit. Get out of here. These, this technology is such a pain in the ass. So, almost two hours ago, the beast approached my ambush hideaway, nestled snuggling in the thick cedar jungle. He came to some big time. I, I supplement feed these animals. And finally, after hundreds of hours, he came to the big time. I was invisible. I didn't move. I kept breathing. I tell myself, breathe. For God's sakes, Ted, breathe. Because it's so exciting. <laughs> and I sent a two-blade broadhead out of my 50-pound Matthews in and out of his pump station. And he went, <laughs> It died right there. You and I should be so lucky to die that quickly and painlessly. Thump. Punk. Right there he did it. It's a monster, monster. Look at the size of this son of... Why is it doing this? Look at the size of this thing. It's about 350 pounds. I weigh, with all my hardware on my belt, about 230 pounds. And I'm not behind him. I'm right next to him. Look at that stag! So the essence of the Ted Nugent Spirit of the Wild on this beautiful 10th day of March, Clusterfuck 22, find your spiritual escape. Because it really is ugly out there. It's so treacherous. The government is the enemy of America. The media is the enemy of mankind. Big tech is the enemy of freedom. Academia is the enemy of humanity. Well, that's outrageous. It really is outrageous. Hollywood is the enemy of mankind. They're just, most of them, only the guilty need to feel guilty. Are there some great teachers out there? Yes, and we love you. Are there some good, conservative, principled actors out there? Yes, we love you. Are there good, decent, loving, conscientious, caring, principled artists? Of course there are. But when I say Hollywood is evil, most of it is evil. When I say academia is against mankind, the, the teachers' union is clearly against mankind. And the indoctrination and trying to teach children sex confusion in kindergarten? If that's not evil, what is? So with all that treachery, we must fight against it. And of course, I emphasize constantly, please join me at HunterNation.org. It's not about hunting. It's about God, family, country, goodwill, decency, the Ten Commandments, the Golden Rule, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the work ethic, the independent spirit, the entrepreneurial man in the arena that is dedicated and makes sacrifices and takes risk to be in the asset column for family, community, America, mankind, the earth. Those are my people. HunterNation.org is a clearinghouse to make sure that we never elect anybody ever again that doesn't represent those sound principles of the greatest quality of life in the history of the human species. That's all it is. I won't even recommend a candidate because we're a 501c3 nonprofit. Barack. And we can't endorse anybody, and I don't endorse anybody, under the heading of Hunter Nation. Barack. What a great tone. Is that a great tone? Does that sound is good out there? So Tucker Carlson, another czar megaphone of truth, logic, and common sense, right along with Uncle Ted, the spirit campfire, truth, logic, and common sense. I'm going to get out of here so we can all watch Tucker because he might be one of the only sources of really accurate global information and American information. I salute Sean Hannity and I salute uh, Jesse Waters. I salute 
Mark Davis and Joe Pags and Michael Berry. I support Lars Larson. I support truth, logic, and common sense. Not our truth, logic, and common sense. Self-evident truth, obvious logic, and undeniable common sense. You know what that is, and you know that people get angry when I say it because they have no common sense. They're uncommonly nonsensical, except their nonsensicalness is getting pretty common. So, I provide an escape, and I cannot emphasize enough to find the soul-cleansing properties undeniable universal of the mystical flight of the arrow. Now, when I went out this evening, I had put out some big tide, big tide, big tine, a great supplemental feed, especially this time of year as winter is wrapping up and spring is around the corner when all the fresh growth will now support the wildlife. Right now, there's not very much support for the wildlife. So carrying people, landowners, ranchers and farmers, hunters, fishermen, trappers, conservationists, we augment that with food plots, special products and food plots to supplement the sustainability for wildlife through the death of winter. So I'm up there in my tree stand, and I got my arrow knocked, and I got my Matthews hanging on a hook, and I got my camera, my Ted Nugent Spirit of the Wild TV show camera. You know, a lot of people go, why don't you have a TV show? Why don't you support hemp? (laughs) Why do you hate homos? Just shut the fuck up. I love everybody. I don't love haters. I don't love rapists. I don't love people that let rapists out to rape again. But I record Ted News and Spirit of the Wild TV every day. I do something smart-ass, something educational, something edu- edu- entertaining, something profound, something tangent. By the way, Birdland Steve down there in Naples, Florida, has, I think you're, isn't, Steve, isn't your band named Tangent? I was down jamming with Steve. Birdland Steve. I love you, buddy. And you're you're playing great. You played Come and Take It pretty good. I'm going to talk about the Spirit of the Wild TV film in a minute, but I go off on tangents. So Steve was playing uh, Come and Take It, but you got to get there. Come and take it. Anyhow, it's all here. Anyhow, so I'm filming with my video camera for the Ted Nugent Spirit of the Wild show, 30 30 plus years on Outdoor Channel, three times a week, every week for over 30 years. If you don't get Outdoor Channel, you're missing some of the funnest shit in the world. Just watching Shemaine draw her bow. Oh, man. Is there anything sexier than a skinny bitch drawing back a bow and arrow? God, it's the sexiest thing in the world. Something about the shape of the female form, and they draw it back, and it gets tense. And then they got the, the shape, and they got the shape, and they draw that bow back, and the bow just accents that skinny, bony. I can see the hip bones and the waist moving all up to the bosom. <laughs> yeah, I have my priorities. So anyhow, Ted Nugent, Spirit of the Wild, on Outdoor Channel, three times a week for over 30 years. Been a top-rated show for over 30 years because I'm a funny guy and Shemaine is so much fun to watch. Even if I wasn't her husband, I'd watch that show and then she'd be my wife. When she draws back the bow and I see the hips. And there's a little, little air space. It's just awesome. So I filmed. I got the camera on a maneuverable tripod on my tree stand. 
And I got a little black buck coming and was nibbling on the big tine. And I got the cardinals and I got the juncos and the chickadees and the uh, tufted titmouses. And I got some hammerjack uh, and redheaded woodpeckers. And I got the crows. And I saw a flock of uh, uh, black wing whistling tree ducks go. So my soul is completely cleansed. I'm statuesque. I am answering some texts with John Hennessy because I got to get my Bronco transmission and Dave Poston. And, and I'm checking out with my Ford racing buddies so I can get the transmission of my Bronco perfected. But then I see way off in the distance, I see movement way off. Holy God. It's the telltale form and coloration of the beige and red spotted axis stag with antlers akimbo a-k-i-m-b-o Foomp. just huge antlers so i go and i find myself holding my breath and i go breathe asshole breathe and i very slowly can you see that is that distorted because the camera doesn't pick it up very good does it you see those antlers but anyhow so i about come out of my skin it's like playing stranglehold lick or the cat scratch lick or come and take it lick or american campfire lick or little miss dangerous or fred bear i got goosebumps and i have to tell myself hey breathe and i slowly get the bow off the hook i got the camera and about another 20 minutes went by and finally i saw the leg come out of the cedar thicket i go oh my god he's gonna come to the big time feed i I sat in this spot tonight because the wind's from the southeast. And so you pick a spot where you think they're bedded down in that vast forest and jungle. And if they're going to come to feed, I got to get down in the northwest area. So the wind is on my favor because if they smell you, they're out of here. It's really challenging. It's very, very exciting. If you don't bow hunt, I, I literally feel sorry for you. Your nerves have not even come alive yet. It's so stimulating so long story short i got the camera and now there's another axis a, even bigger and it's a hundred percent velvet he hasn't shed his velvet yet and he's coming in so they take their time because they come and they stop and i'm like a statue and in my brain i'm going you might want to breathe Keep a steady breath so your nerves don't become completely grenade-like because I'm about to pull the pin. Long story short, they tortured me, tortured me. It's called backstrap torture, like waterboarding, like venison waterboarding. And finally, he comes in, and I'll be damned, 22, 23 yards. I checked it with a Bushnell rangefinder. I know exactly how many yards everything is because on our bows nowadays, we have sight pins. And you put the sight pin based on what yardage it is. And he come in and I shot a bunch of arrows before I went hunting. So I had the right hand. Hey, right hand, right hand, you're in charge, right hand. So I'm squeezing the release. I'm literally squeezing the release. So I'm reminding myself that this guy is in charge. This is a little archery tech tip from the old Bunzai Motor City madman. Long story short, he got broadside. I slowly, I'm only shooting 50 pounds because I like grace, it's got to be graceful. Right hand. The stag is in the frame of the video camera. I check it. Yep, he's right in the frame of the video camera. Right hand. <laughs> that razor sharp two blade broadhead went in right at the point of the shoulder and blew out the other side and he goes <laughs> dead right there <sighs> hallelujah the spirit of the wild is strong and free i immediately called bob my ranch hand i said bob come video this i just shot a monster axis stag we have so many axes here and i never see them they never show up hundreds of hours so the excitement is relative to the challenge and it's extremely challenging and the backstraps the venison it's candy 
So this product in Texas called the Ox Rack, Ox Rack, this entrepreneur family built this apparatus called the Ox Rack. And it's on the front of my Polaris. And I was able to, we tracked it and we took, we videoed the recovery. Very exciting. And you know, this whole time, there is no Joe Biden. There is no devil. There's no hate. There's no lying government. There's no manipulated invasion of my country by my own government. It's just me and the Axis deer. Perfection. Soul cleansing. Hauled him back to the skin and shed, turned on the cooler, gutted him, get him all hosed out clean. I'm all covered in blood. It's beautiful. The best venison and lots of it. This thing weighs over 350 pounds. He's just a monster. What the hell? Look at this son of a bitch. Look how big he is. Look at that. And Texas has exotics everywhere. You can hunt year-round. Good luck finding some place that'll let you. It's usually pretty expensive because these people have to, instead of having cattle and sheep and goats to make money, they get rid of the livestock and they bring in wildlife. And on the private land in Texas, 93% private land is how it should be, uh, you have to have a family member or a buddy or pay, and you can, you can pay to hunt with me but you have to go to sunrise safaris at tednugent.com and we booked my birthday hunt and I have so much fun. If I wasn't me, I would want to hunt with me because I like fun and I like backstraps and I like a target rich environment. I like killer music around a campfire. So my soul is cleansed. I feel so good. Let me remind you that this Ted Nugent spirit campfire is brought to you by Mike Lindell. Please support Mike Lindell. Go to MyPillow.com and type in the code SPIRIT and buy a bunch of his stuff. Great slippers, great dog beds, great blankets, great towels, great everything. Support Mike Lindell and cause Nancy Pelosi much suffering because good should cause suffering for evil. Barack. MyPillow.com and type in the code SPIRIT. Barack. I think you can type in the code TED, T-E-D, like I had to spell that. <laughs> go to MyPillow.com and type in the code SPIRIT or the code TED. And also go to TedNugent.com. I've been in the uh, sweatshop signing these for you people. These are available at TedNugent.com along with the come and take it autograph flag you see over there. Where is it? There it is. I don't have any tread on me flag. Don't tread on me, but the come and take it flag, the come and take it hat, the I will not comply hat, personally autographed, the hand that never sleeps. And also, because I dirtied up a bunch of my guns today, this is the stuff to clean them with. First of all, this is the ammo to shoot in your guns. Best ammo on the planet. And boy, are they producing a shitload of this stuff. Remington ammo, the deadliest mushroom in the woods. That's the ammo I use. This is the gun cleaner. It's called Dirty Bore Gun Cleaner, the best. It's, go to dirty, dirty-bore.com. Dirty Bore. Dirty, B-O-R-E. Dirty-bore.com. The best gun cleaning stuff there is. Do join us at HunterNation.org, please, if you want to take back America. Go to HunterNation.org. And we can fix what this treasonous, god-awful criminal government is doing to our country. Oh, man, heartbreak. But you know what? I hope I provided some relief for you tonight. Good spirit, positive energy, the mystical flight of the arrow, and fresh venison and being in touch with God's miraculous creation as a participant in the asset column. That's how you can improvise, adapt, and overcome the treachery that is all around us. So be strong, and I know it's tough. I got to tell you, I fight it every day. I do interviews every day, and I spotlight the cockroaches, and I articulate the horrible, horrible treachery as perpetrated by our government, the media, big tech, academia, Hollywood. Oh, it's just awful. I know it's awful. 
And I know I'm funny and upbeat and positive, but I really get depressed. I get really angry. And I catch myself and I go, all right, anger and depression can be good if you channel it to fight the causes of anger and depression. So that's what I do. And then you have to find something to provide total escape. Some people find it in golf. Some people find it in painting and art or a nice, calm, easy breathing walk in the outdoors with your loved ones, time with your dogs, snuggling with your cat, going to the range, aim small, miss small. It will cleanse the soul. But ultimately, I'm telling you, archery. Get a bow that is graceful, that is effortless to pull back, smooth and graceful. If you grunt and struggle, it's not for you. I shoot 50 pounds. Shemaine shoots 30, and she kills everything with a two-blade broadhead. That's critical when you're using a lightweight bow. You should use a two-blade broadhead because it cuts and slices better. I shot that 350-pound axis stag right on the point of the left shoulder. I have, I didn't hit the scapula. I think I got that magic triangle, the golden triangle below the scapula and above the leg bone. And my little, my 400 grain gold tip arrow went clean through that animal. It was awesome. He was dead like two and a half seconds. Perfect. And I escaped the treachery and the ugliness and the hate and the evil that we're surrounded by. So please improvise, adapt and overcome. Continue to seek your American dream. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you need. Tell me all your wildest dreams. Give me some feedback grind fire. Tell me what all of this means. Did it feel good? Did it feel right? Did I set your soul on fire? Did you live your dreams? Did you, did you, did you fall in love? Did you live your dreams? Give me some feedback grind fire. Thank you for supporting the Ted Nugent Spirit Campfire. I love you all madly, even the assholes. I love the assholes because they're so stupid that they are a great sounding board for all the good people to identify all the bad people. Yeah, we're divided. Good is divided from bad. Good is divided from evil. Well, I hate, I hate Trump. Then you hate secure borders and low unemployment and renegotiating global contracts to benefit America. That's what you hate if you hate Trump and Ted Nugent, you dumb fucks. Jeez. Do you feel the love? <laughs> See you guys soon. Ted Nugent Spirit Camp for I'm going to go watch Tucker Carlson for more truth, logic, and common sense.